And these people, night after night, have uh, put up with my nonsense and taken great care of not just me, but everybody on the show. It's been nearly two years since David Letterman's final show aired in May 2015. Now, the New York Times comedy critic Jason Zinneman has written a definitive biography about the man and his show business career called Letterman, The Last Giant of Late Night. Here are four surprising revelations from the book. Fox News founder Roger Ailes was almost Letterman's producer. The host's first national program was a morning show on NBC that lasted five months in 1980. One of the people who was offered a job producing the show was a former Mike Douglas show producer and Nixon advisor named Roger Ailes, who briefly considered the job before turning it down. Letterman tried to get his ex-girlfriend, Meryl Marco, to write jokes for his mistress, or soon-to-be mistress. Marco, who had crucial creative influence on Letterman, appeared on The Late Show a few times in 1993, but she hadn't heard from the show for years when she got a call in the mid-2000s about doing some Olympic segments. She thought Letterman wanted her to appear on air, only to find out he wanted her to write segments for an intern named Stephanie Burkett to perform on camera. A few years later, Marco and the world learned that Letterman was having an affair with Burkett. Letterman was also a pretty crappy boss. The book describes the host's management style as passive-aggressive. It manifested itself in his inability to fire people. Instead of firing them, Letterman would just freeze people out until they got the hint that they were no longer wanted. And after Letterman confessed on air in 2009 to having affairs with women on his staff, he organized hours-long show post-mortems because he was afraid to go home. He would gather writers and producers to meet in an office to talk about everything but the show. Letterman admitted he started the postmortems because I can't go home. I'm the most hated man in America. One staffer said it was like a hostage situation. For more huge reveals from the book, check out THR.com. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News, and that ex-girlfriend thing reminds me of an ex-boyfriend story. I need to stop, don't I?